Good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. We are just checking to make sure that we are live. Good morning, good morning. Hopefully you guys are having a good morning. Welcome to your Tuesday body weight burn workout. My name is Lori Farron. I'm instructor here. I'm excited to be here. So today's body weight workout, of course, you're just gonna need your outfit, yourself, number one, and then your mat and a water, and that's all you're gonna need. So we've got circuit style today, but let's get started and I will explain the workout here. So feet hips distance apart. We're gonna take a little bit to warm up today just cause I really want everybody warm. We got a lot of moves going on. So feet hip distance apart. Let's stretch those arms out and side to side. All right, twisting out the spine here. So today circuit style, we have got three exercises per circuit three rounds, 30 seconds each exercise. A little break in between to transition. That's all you gotta remember. We've got some strength moves, some cardio. I tried to design this workout, let up and overhead, so that part of the time you are up standing and then the other part of the time you're down on the ground. So there shouldn't be a ton of transitions, but there are a few, just so you know. Stretching here. Warming up the side body, reach over, bend over. Last five, four, three, two, and one. All right, come off your mat. We're gonna squat butt kick. I've got those hands up to chest level. Squat butt kick. Warming up the quads here and the hamstrings. Squat butt kick. There you go. Keeping that core nice and tight. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. You're gonna walk to the back of your mat and we're gonna kick that leg up. So opposite arm, opposite leg here. Keep a slight bend in that knee and just really stretching and warming up the hamstrings here. Keeping that core tight again. So at the end of this workout, we have a bonus round, which is a bonus ab workout. So make sure you stay for that. If you guys know me, I love to do a little burn of some sort at the end. So it will be a body weight ab burn at the end. Last three, two, and one. Since we're at the back of the mats here, Let's walk our hands, come down, walk your hands down. You're gonna dip those hips, stretch that back up here, hold here for a second, and then we're gonna come into a pike position in three, two, one. Up to a pike, and then back down. There we go. So waking up that back, stretching out the spine, back to that pike for a second here also opening the hips here we're going to focus next on keeping those hips nice and open stretching it out for some of our moves today let's roll through that a little faster a couple more here up and down up and down thanks for joining me today you guys last three two and one, let's walk those hands in. All right, so standing up, we're gonna open those hips up here, hip flexors. So we're gonna stand on our left leg and we're gonna swing our right leg, just like this here. Keep your hands out to the side, just opening things up. I don't run much anymore, but when I did run, this was a great warm up right here. Last five four, three, two, and one. Switch it to the other side. I will turn around. So standing on your right leg this time, left leg, and you can hold on to something here if you need to. But we're also warming up our core, getting our balance ready. So make sure you guys grab some water. If you don't have any, have that close by. We've got some quick transitions today, keeping that heart rate up. Again, we've got some cardio mixed in with some strength. As you can see, one leg might be a little less balanced than the other in three, two, 
and one. All right, one last little warm up. Stretch it up, feet are wide. Reach over and down and then come back up here. Over and down, reaching to the front of the room or to your camera, TV, wherever you are watching this. If you're logging on, make sure you say good morning. If you're sitting on your couch having your coffee, good morning to you. <laughs> I hope you join me later for this. This will be fun. Last three, two, and one. All right, one more guys, really warming up the hips here. So we're gonna stretch forward, or sorry, stretch back, and then forward fold. Backs, point the hips towards the front, and forward fold, hips and back here. This is our last warm up one, and then we're going to get right into it. Again, three exercises per circuit, three rounds, 30 seconds each. It's all you gotta remember. Actually, you don't even have to remember. That's why you have me. <laughs> last three, two, and one. All right, so you wanna grab some water to start. I'll explain the first three exercises. We have an overhead marching punch. So opposite leg, opposite arm. Marching punch right here into a, oh yes, a low squat front walk and back. So feet are gonna be shoulder distance apart. You're gonna go into that squat to start, walk into the front of your mat. You're gonna stay in this position the whole 30 seconds and then back. And then our last one is a walkout push up, walk back. All right, let's get going here. Overhead march, you can add a hop. 30 seconds, three, two, one. So you can, sorry, opposite hand, opposite knee, punching straight up. You can add a jump to this here or modify right here, keeping that core tight, punching upwards to the ceiling, driving that knee in. Nice job, you guys. Low squat walk is coming up next. We're only gonna break to take that transition. So let's walk to the side of your mat in three, two, one. Go into that low squat position, feet are hip distance apart, walk to the front of your mat, keeping it low the whole time. When you get to the front or the back, you're gonna transition. 30 seconds here, core is tight, you are keeping it low. Oh yeah, if you guys have a mirror at home, this is always a great thing to do, is put this in front of you while you're working out so you can see your form. We've got three, two, and one. All right, so you're gonna walk out, push up, walk back in. Three, two, one. Walk, 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 push up, walk back, and stand. Walk out, push up. You can transition to your knees if you need to. Remember, we're still kind of warming things up here. And after each round, we're gonna take about a 20 second break, 20 to 30 seconds to regroup. Last one here, three, two, and one. All right, so you made it through first round. We've got two more. Now we're stepping it up. Grab some water, always stay hydrated. Good morning, good morning. All right, let's do this, you guys. Overhead, marching punch, three, two, and one right here. I'm stepping it up, adding a little hop here. Drive those knees up to your chest. Punch to the ceiling. Getting that heart rate up right here. Getting ready to transition into that low squat walk in three, two, and one. Back to your mat. Squat first, walk, 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 walk. Keep that chest up. I'm not over folded like this. I'm nice and tall like this. And I can see in the camera, that's why a mirror is good, that my booty is down. So it's always a good idea to have a mirror at home so you can see what the heck you look like, right? Last five, four, three, two, and one, go to the back of your mat. Let's do this. Push up plank here. 
plank to a push-up. Back and stand up. Now, you can drop to those knees if you need to, but we probably only have about five push-ups in each round here. You guys can do this. We've got last five, four, three, two, and one. All right, take that little break, bounce it around. Keep that heart rate going. Grab that water if you need to. We've got our last round in circuit number one. Hopefully you're getting warm. Starting with this one. Going here in three, two, and one. Right here. Knee drive punch. This reminds me when I used to do my mom's aerobics tapes at home. Oh yeah. <laughs> I did that a lot. <laughs> Keep it going here. We are almost there. Breathe. Heart rate should be feeling like it's starting to increase here. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Low squat walks. Right into it. Squat, walk, keep it low. And then back, you're working your quads hammies, glutes, you guys know it. Core is tight here. And then we just have one more walk out push up and then you are done this circuit. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Going right into it right here, let's go. Walk out, wide arms, push up and back up. Keep going. Last one, you guys. Keep that core tight on your way down to that plank. So take a minute here, core tight. Push up and back. Keep going. We've got about five, four, three, two, and one. All right, transition. Grab some water, circuit number one out the door. <laughs> We're moving on to circuit number two. All right. Let's get this heart rate going here. So we have, oh yes, yeah, squat up and down with punches, followed by another plank move. Okay, so we're going to be standing and then seated. So this one, your lower body is going to lower squat, upper squat. Your upper body is going to punch down and punch up. So really, it's an upper and lower body move here. That's our first one, plank, knee in, hold, leg lift. So then you're gonna come down to a plank, knee in to a leg lift. One side the whole time, then we'll switch. Last round, we'll switch halfway through. And then we have uh, some sit-ups. Okay, so join me here, let's go in three, two, one. So get that lower body motion first. Slow squat down, slow squat up. When you're ready, add in that arm. If you have weights, you can add little weights here to your arms and really make it intense. If not, you are punching. I know I am not the best puncher. I look like a total dork, but who cares, right? Because it's only us. <laughs> Last, where are we at here? 10 seconds. And then, we are moving into that plank, knee in, leg lift. Three, two, and one. Walk it out to that plank position. So let's bring the, start with the right knee in, right leg lift the whole time in three, two, one. Knee in, lift, knee in, lift. So you're focusing ab squeeze, glute squeeze. Ab squeeze, glute squeeze. You don't need to lift that leg super high. It's just a little glute squeeze. There you go. Breathe. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Now you're here. You're going to hold a plank. 30 seconds right here. Three, two, one. Timer is on. Transitioning over into that core and shoulders here. You're going to start to feel a little burn by the third round breathe. You guys can do this. 
You can do this. Squeeze that core here. You are almost there. You've got five, four, three, two, and walk it in. Nice job. Back to round one. You've got those punches up and down. Going in three. Actually, let's take a little break. Sorry, guys, I missed that. Grab some water. You got a little 20 second break here. And then we're going through it. Now you know what to expect. How can you kick it up here? I'm gonna show you. Round two, three, two, one. You're gonna punch to the top, hop. Punch to the top, hop. It's a little way to add a little movement in here. Or you can really even step it up. Oh yeah, by adding a squat jump here. So three levels you've got to choose from. Five, four, three, two, and one. Down to that plank, we're transitioning. Left side, left leg, three, two, one. Knee in, glute lift. Knee in, glute lift. Keep that core tight. Focus on driving that knee to your chest and then transitioning to that glute. Squeeze here. Breathe. You guys know what's coming up. If you need to, take a quick five second break in three, two, one. Maybe rock out those shoulders. When you're ready, 30 second plank, let's go. Plank hold. Breathe. Transitioning to that core. Check out your form if you have a mirror. Breathe here. Nice job, you guys. You're over halfway. And then we have one final round of this. How can you kick it up? Last five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Take a little break here. 20 seconds. You've got one final round of this. All right, getting ready for that. Squat down with punches. Going in three, two, and one down punches remember try and kick this one up a little it's your last round 30 seconds turn to the side squat and punching squat and punching sit back here you got five four three two and one Again, this time we're going to 15 seconds one leg, 15 on the other. Walk it out, going in three, two, one. Knee drive to leg lift. Knee drive, leg lift. 15 seconds each side here. I'll tell you when it's time. You're going to switch in five, four, three, two, and one. Switch sides. Keep breathing here. Really drive that knee in. And lift. And you're gonna take that little five second break. Go into that plank in three, two, and one. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Getting ready, 30 second plank hold. Let's go. Right here. Whew. Keep those feet together. Squeeze that core in. Think about pushing your shoulders back down to your feet. Spine is nice and neutral. Head is just out in front of you. You guys are almost there. You got about 10 seconds left. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. We are down to five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Circuit two, that went by fast. Out the door. All right, circuit three, grab some water. I'll explain this one here. Circuit three, we have alternating lunge tap downs. Okay, so you're gonna tap down with a lunge here. So you're just going across your mat. You can take out the tap down right here, or you can just step it out, keep it lower impact. So that's exercise one with an alternating squat kick. You guys know I love this one. Squat, kick, squat, kick. So deep squat, high kick. All right, for a slow lunge. Oh yeah. And then we're gonna hold single leg lunge switch. Okay, 
Let's do this. Alternating lunge, tap down. This is our cardio. Getting ready in three, two, one. Here we are. So choose your level. If you're more advanced, you can pick this up. Go a little faster. Or you just take out this hop. You may want to back away from your mat. I have a habit of being clumsy. <laughs> 10 seconds here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Getting ready for that alternating squat kick in three, two, one. Squat kick. I just transitioned to the side so you can see what it looks like. Squat kick. This round is cardio intense right here. Cardio and lower body strength. Last five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's start. Left leg forward, right leg is back. I'll show you what it looks like. We're gonna slowly come down, slowly come up. No lockout. Join me here. Down and up. You're in a lunge position. You're just focusing on a slow down and a slow up. No lockouts at all. Once you get to the top, you're going right back down. You got 30 seconds. But we're halfway through already because I was talking. Keep that core in, chest is up. We have got five, four, three, two, and one. Grab some water. Circuit one is down. Round two, get ready. Nice job, you guys. Let's do this. Okay, back to those alternating taps. Quick little water break in three, two, one. Tap down. Tap down right here. You can add that little hop in the middle. Increase the intensity here. You guys know what's next? Squat kicks. In five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Breathe it out. I'll do it from the side in three, two, and one. Deep squat. Kick. Deep squat. Kick. You can add your arms up for a little intensity here. Really sit back and then kick that heel up. Breathe. We're transitioning next to just that right leg only. Slow lunge. In five, four, three, two, and one. All right, right leg first. Do it from the side. Get in position, three, two, one. Slow down and slow up. So down almost to the ground and then almost up. I really want you guys to feel this in that forward glute here. It's pushing through the heel. I know you guys have heard this a thousand times from a thousand different instructors. I myself still hear it and I have to, every time I hear it, I'm thankful because it makes me really think about pushing through that heel. Next round, we're gonna switch 15 seconds through on this one. Last three, two, and one. All right, shake it out. Last round. You guys got this. 30 seconds. We are doing, what are we doing? Lunge, alternating tap downs. All right, going here in three, two, and one. Right here. Lunge, tap downs, or again, just like this, or just like this. Pick your move. Breathe. 10 seconds. And then we've got that last round of those squat kicks. In five, four, three, two, and you guys are awesome. You can do this. Let's do this. Last round, shake it out. Go in here in three, two, and one. Squat, kick, squat, kick. Really sit into it. 
Doesn't have to be a fast move here. Really sit and then drive, kick that heel forward. This should be getting our heart rate up a bit. You guys are coming up. Last six seconds. <laughs> Last three, two, and one. All right, 15 seconds. Let's start left leg first in three, two, one. Down and up, down and up. I'm going to turn to the side. Slow and controlled on the way down. Slow and controlled on the way up. Really pushing through that front heel. We are switching right here. 15 seconds this side. Last round right here in this circuit. And then we are moving on. We are just rolling right through this, you guys. We only have two more circuits left. Oh yeah, so you're more than halfway through this circuit. Exercises here. Three, two, and one. Great job. Grab your water. The next one, we're gonna be on the floor. So grab your water, maybe push the dog out of the way. I know my dog likes to work out with me when I'm on the floor, both dogs. Um, okay, so we got plank jacks. I know, I know. Oh, Lori, more shoulders. One, two, one, two, three, four. That's what the first one's gonna look like. Then you're gonna go into, flip it over. You're gonna come into a bridge hold with knee taps. What do you think of that one here, right? Keeping the bridge hold up the whole time. And then you have mini tricep push-up pulses. You're gonna love me. You're gonna love this one. This is so awesome. <laughs> All right, let's flip it over. Two plank jacks, four mountain climbers. Going in three, two, one. Core tight. One, two, one, two, three, four. Count to yourself here. I don't want to screw you guys up. If you're going at a different pace, you lose count. Just do something here. Nice job, you guys. 10 seconds. This is your cardio. And we've got those strength moves. Three, two, and one. Flip it over. Bridge hold with knee taps. Going in three, two, one. Hands are facing your feet. Come up, hold that bridge. You're going to tap those knees right here. What is the purpose of this? Really, keeping that glute, glute, just like you have one glute, right? Glutes squeezed. Abs are tight because they're working to keep you up. And your arms are working to keep you up as well. So you're working a little bit of everything here and you're breathing. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, you guys. Let's flip it over from your knees or from your feet. You've got close grip tricep push-ups, mini ones, mini ones. So you're just gonna come down and up. So hands are in next to your chest. Elbows are pointing back and down. Going in three, two, one. So they're just a little mini drop and back up. It's a little tricep press here. Again, from your knees, do as many as you can in this 30 seconds. Maybe try some from your feet. You're really squeezing those shoulders, elbows back in three, two, and one. Stretch it out. Nice job, grab some water. That is your fourth circuit. Plank jacks, bridge hold, do the little tricep pushes. All right, let's do this. Back to that cardio here. Plank jacks, going in three, two, one. One, two, one, two, three, four. One. There you go. Three, four, four. Remember, I'm trying not to count out loud. <laughs> Just keep going. Drive those knees in. You can do this. Shoulders are starting to get tired. You're almost there. Last five, four, three, two, and one. 
flip it over, plank hold with the knee tap or bridge hold. Going in three, two, one. Lift up, tap those knees here. Squeeze those glutes to keep you in this plank or bridge position. I don't know why, I will always wanna call it a plank. Really feel those triceps engage because you know we're working them next. Breathe here. Can you feel this in your glutes? Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Flip it over. Maybe try a couple from your feet here. Close grip, hands just right underneath your chest or your knees going in three, two, one. You don't have to do a full tricep push up. It's just a little dip and up. A little dip and up. They're little mini ones. They're a little easier to do, but you're still getting some great focus on those triceps and chest here. You're pushing the floor away from you, digging those palms and hands into the floor. We're almost there. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, you guys. Whew. All right, flip it over. Last round, let's do this. Last time you'll have to do these plank and mountain climbers. Going in three, two, and one. We're just rolling through this one. One, two, one, two, three, four. Sorry guys, I didn't give you much of a water break in this one, but we'll take that after before we transition into our last circuit before we hit abs. One, two, three, four. Drive those knees in. This is your last round here. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. All right, last round. Getting in that bridge position right here. Let's go. Alternating knee taps. Squeeze those glutes up. There you go. Drive those heels in. Last round of these. Tricep push-ups coming up next. The glutes are starting to drop. <laughs> My shoulders are getting tired. You guys only have one more circuit after this. We can do this. We are in this together. Last three, two, and one. All right. Okay, flip it over. Last one, you ready? Close grip, grip tricep push-ups in three, two, one. Mini ones, remember? Down and push. Down and push. Down and push. You can do this. Maybe if you haven't tried these yet, try one or two. And then go back to your knees if you need to. I know, they don't look very pretty. And breathe. We are almost there here. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Little stretch it out here. All right. Take your little break, grab some water. We only have one more circuit and then we're gonna move into our ab burn. All right, oh, this hair is fun, but that's okay, it's just us, right? So last one. Okay, reverse lunge to a hop. So we're gonna be back up standing for this last circuit here. So what it looks like, we've got one leg, reverse lunge to a knee hop, reverse lunge, knee hop. You can take out that hop, just drive that knee in, really get those hands working. So we're gonna start one leg, the other, and then switch, squat to side reach, right? So then we're gonna squat to side reach, squat, side reach, really working those side abs here, and then plank up down. Sorry, last one on the ground. Last plank one, I promise. Well, kind of. Okay, let's do this. Reverse lunge to a knee hop. Let's start with that right leg going back in three, two, one. Reverse lunge, hop, hop, drive those hands in. Really drive like you're gonna take off and jump and then reach that leg back. Core is tight. 
Oh yeah, you can feel this on that standing glute. We have been working those legs today. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Shake that glute out. All right, let's go right into it. Wide squat, reach, squat, reach. Going in three, two, one. Squat, reach, squat, reach. So this one here, I really want you to reach. Feel those side abs here. Take a nice deep squat and then reach. Deep squat and reach. Oh yeah. You guys, you know what I just decided? I'm gonna change the last one. We have done a lot of planks and I don't wanna plank you out. So the last one, we're gonna be standing here. I'm gonna make it your choice. So you got 30 seconds coming up here of your choice. Last three, two, and one. You can do whatever you want. I'm actually gonna do jumping jacks because I like these. 30 seconds, whatever you want. Your favorite exercise, whatever you wanna work on. You can jumping jack over here. You can jumping jack like this. You can just run around your living room. I don't care, as long as you're keeping that heart rate up. Breathe. We have got five, four, three, two, and one. See, I did throw in a little something for you, no planks. All right, now we're gonna switch legs. This time, we're gonna take that left leg back and up, or whichever leg you didn't do before. Going in three, two, and one. Back and drive, back, drive. Again, you don't have to do that hop. You can really just drive it. Make sure those arms are working for you here. There you go, it's driving straight up in the air. 10 seconds. Oh, that front leg is burning. Last five, four, three, two, and one. All right, squat and reach going in three, two, one. Squat, reach, squat, reach. I don't want this one to be a slow down move. I really want you guys reaching to the side here, engaging the side abs. We're warming them up for our ab circuit coming up. All right, you got your 30 seconds of your favorite exercise coming up. Whatever you need to work on, we're doing it here in five, four, three, two, and one. You ready? Let's do this. Let's go. 30 seconds. I'm gonna do these, because I like them. Keeps my heart rate up, and I wanna work on my cardio today. I try and do a strength day, cardio day, and then a mix in a strength cardio day. Always something different. We're almost done. Round two, and five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, you guys, this is your last circuit. And then we're hitting those abs. So we're gonna alternate. So pick a leg, 15 seconds, and then we're gonna switch. Three, two, one. Reverse lunge, squeeze. Really reach back, pull in. Again, at the end of this workout, switch sides here. Make sure you're rated one through five, one being easy, five being really challenging. I wanna know where you're at. And maybe if you rate it at a three or a four, think of how you can kick it up next time and switch. But I also like to know for me too. Okay, what do we have next? We have got those side reach, three, two, one, squat, side reach, squat, side reach. Or if you go back, save this video and then replay it, maybe you do some of the advanced moves that I was showing. This one, for example, you could add in a little jump. You can always add in a jump. That kind of adds another little element to it. 
Last five, four, three, two, and one. Back to your favorite exercise. Going in three, two, one. We're gonna go back to these here. And then we have about a five minute little ab blast at the end of this. Really just focusing on that core. It's your last round, you guys. Can you speed it up anymore, wherever you are at? You're almost there. Almost there here. Five, four, three, two, and you are done. Those circuits stick with me here. Let's burn out those abs. Take a couple deep breaths. Walk it off. High five. I'm right there with you. Grab some water. Whew. That was challenging. That was challenging. Not going to lie. It was. Okay. Grab your water. Bring that heart rate down. Make sure you feel good before you hit the ground. We don't want you just zipping to the ground. All right. Last one. Sticking with our true circuits. Actually, I'm going to flip this. No, I'll stay this way. Three rounds, 30 seconds each. Three exercises. So, first one here, we've got a one leg toe reach here. All right? And then you're going to switch to the other leg, and then you've got slow, controlled bicycles. All right? So, I'm going to start with my right leg up, going in three, two, one. Reach and down. Reach. So, both legs start with them both down, and then you're going to lift those shoulders high off the ground and really reach for that foot here halfway there and then we're going to switch legs so you can see i'm not coming all the way down and back up i'm just stopping here and then i'm going right back up last three two and one go right into it switching sides left leg if that neck gets sore, take one arm, put it behind your neck here. We're going to be really working this whole circuit because this is it. This is our ab burn. You want to burn out your abs so it hurts to laugh tomorrow. And you can all thank me. Last 10 seconds here. <sighs> Breathe. <sighs> Last five, four, three, two, and one bring those knees in right into slow and controlled bicycles slow and controlled here so opposite elbow opposite knee the wider you can reach out and the lower you can go with your legs the harder it's going to be what is that lower back doing it's planted into the ground and it's not leaving so focus on that as well you got five, four, three, two, and one. Quick little knee hug. We're going right back into it. Right leg reach in three, two, one. Nice job, you guys. Almost done. Hang in there with me. You can do this. You're reaching to get those shoulders off the ground, reaching for that foot, that calf last five four three two and switch legs go right into it lower back is still on the ground left leg i'm using my left leg right arm breathing out on the way up in on the way down we're getting ready for that next set of bicycles in five, four, three, two, and one. Can you go right into slow bicycles right here? This is your ab burn. So I want you to feel this. Push yourself today. Really feel those abs. That's how we get stronger, right? We do something a little more challenging each time we work out, even if we just motor on right through these. Last five four three two 
and one. Take a quick little break. Let's go right into this. Leg down, three, two, one. You guys, it's your last circuit. I know you're getting tired. Hang in there with me. Use that breath to pull you up here. Last round here. You can do this. You have made it this far. We are coming up here on three, two, and switch right into it. You still with me? You haven't left to get your coffee yet? <laughs> Turned off the video yet? <laughs> nice job, you guys. Keep it going. We are so close. You can do this. Then you are done for the day. Hang in there. Last five, four, three, two. Straight into bicycles right here. Last round, my abs are burning. I know yours are too. Keep that lower back into the ground. I know you're cursing at me because I'm cursing at myself right now. Whew. This is it though. This is the home stretch. Breathe. You are going to be done in five, four, three, two, and you are done. Give yourselves a round of applause, a high five. Nice job, you guys. Stretch those knees into the chest. You did it. That was, oh my gosh, we are like, that was a, that was a long one, wasn't it? <laughs> that was a good one. A little bit of everything in that workout. Rock side to side here. We're gonna stretch you out. This is the best part. I always recommend staying for this because you deserve this and you wanna give your body a little release after you've added all that stress on it for the last 50 minutes, 55 minutes. All right, plant that left leg down, right leg is up, keep a slight bend here. We're gonna stretch out this hamstring that worked super hard today and all those lunges, hops, and everything else we did. <sighs> Lightly grabbing somewhere behind your calf and bringing this into your chest. Of course, keeping that hip, hip square and on the ground and just really breathing into this. All right, we're gonna straighten that right leg and we're gonna slowly take that left leg over the body here. For that right leg, I'm all messed up. You know what I mean. And you're gonna let it roll over and your head and hand are gonna stretch out the opposite way. I don't know if you guys can see me. I feel like I look like a pretzel, but that's kind of what this move looks like. And bring it back to center. One last little knee hug in. We're gonna switch sides here. There you go. And slowly opening that left leg and feeling that stretch on the left side. Nice job today, you guys. You made it through, what did we do, like five circuits? I actually had another ab circuit in there, but we're running out of time. So, ah. You know, I like these to be under an hour because then you're in and out and you know what to expect, right? Okay, so over to the side and reaching to the other side. Spinal twist here, holding that leg. And bring it back to center and place that leg down. We're gonna grab our right leg again and we're gonna place it on our left knee and bring our hands around underneath our left into a figure four position here. This time we're stretching the glute, the outer glute here. And breathe. This is your chance to give back to your body. Stretch things out while they're nice and warm so that you'll be ready to go next time. And if you guys are ever sore from these workouts, let me know. Come back on this thread if you can find it and say sore. And then I know, because sometimes I'll do something, I'll be like, whoa, I am so sore. What did I do? That was a great, <laughs> that was a great one. <laughs> so I just like to know. And other side, cross the other leg. And again, a one to five. I love it when you guys do that. You are awesome. Thanks for joining. Taking an hour out of your day with me. 
oh, feel that stretch here. Lots of glutes and hips and everything today. All right, bring those knees together. We're slowly going to roll into a seated position and we're going to flip around to the side and we're gonna stretch out our hips here. So hands are wide, legs are gonna be wide and hips are down to the ground here. And we're gonna come up into a, I don't know what this is called, uh, cobra, baby, co I don't know. <laughs> upward dog, maybe? Yeah, upward dog, I think. And stretch out those hips here, pushing away from the floor. Find a little stretch in the back and come back down. Let's do that one more time. Really push into the ground, pushing away. Breathe. And we're gonna come into a child's pose position. So knees are wide, feet are together. You're gonna sink those hips back and really walk those hands forward, stretching your shoulders, all your upper back muscles. We are almost done. After this, we're gonna stand up, take one final stretch, and then you are done. All right, come into all fours, and then you're slowly gonna stand up. However you get there, make sure your head is last to come up. Just letting the blood flow slowly. We don't want anybody passing out on us. Standing tall, three deep breaths in with a big stretch at each one. Three, two, one. Deep breath in, stretch. Stretching those abs two more. And make this your biggest breath.